Here in my rec room, just got a new Lamborghini. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let me step in my rec room for a second. Um, what's up? I, uh, I come to you all recommending this very small business that my friend has going. And I'm going to give it some love. I'm going to recommend it to you all. Uh, my good friend Jasmine Chavez is starting a new online business where she sells... An assortment of good stuff like energy drinks, um, uh, some cosmetic stuff, like a variety of different things. So go down to amway.com forward slash what the fuck ever. I'll put it right there. Yeah, I'll put it right there. It's right there. Go, go, go. Well, not right now. I'm. I'm just doing an intro before the episode starts. Before the episode starts, actually, let me um, give you a little tour of uh, my rec room here. I got a couple posters going. That's an achievement hunter poster. There's a misprint of Frank and Weenie. It actually came out on my birthday. There's Laser Team. I supported the Indiegogo campaign. There's a tie dye shirt that doesn't fit me anymore. Uh, there's a shirt that my good friend Kaylee, uh, Kaylee gave me for Christmas one year. I have, I have it hung up. Um, some Star Wars posters. And uh, just an extra Star Wars poster for good measure. And uh, that's, um, that's my laptop where I record myself. Here's my capture device. And there's uh, the game. Okay, I'm gonna let the episode start right now. Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts in the last episode. Um Yeah, we uh we need to go to the treehouse or treetop or whatever because our friends are in trouble. So we need to get there ASAP. You just hop over that hippo. It's actually been a while since I've recorded, believe it or not. Um, I took a break from recording footage. Get off the fucking. There you go. I took a break from recording footage for a while and I just focused more on editing. Um, by the way, um, a bad idea doing that, by the way. You know why? Because uh, at the time of recording this, I actually need to record an episode in order to keep up with my daily schedule of uh, posting each and every single day. So, yeah. I'm uh, actually kind of running behind that schedule. Why can't I jump over this hippo? Oh, man. It actually feels good to be playing Kingdom Hearts with a different controller for once. Um, I mentioned before how I had three controllers. There we go. This other... Fucking... This other one um, that I have actually belongs to a good friend of mine, Steve, who gave me this controller. It's um, it's a WWE PlayStation 2 controller, and it has a, it has a there's a turbo button on here, and then there's a clear button, and there's a mill button. I don't know what that does, but apparently it's good for wrestling games, which I don't play. Fucking Christ. Anyway. I'm playing with a totally different controller right now, so it actually kind of feels good to be playing a game like this uh, with this controller. Excuse me. So, motherfucker, am I gonna tr like good start? Yeah, good start to the episode right here. Oh, actually, someone I forgot something I forgot to do. Set a timer for thirty minutes. Okay, thirty minutes and counting. Thank you, sir. That's what I forgot to do. I knew, like... Thank God. Yeah, I knew, like, this episode started off on a weird note because I forgot to do that. I'm timing myself now with these episodes. With the help of my good friend, Siri. Um, I think it's up here, actually, that we need to go. Right? Yeah... Climbing trees? Bingo. Alright. I think I skipped a cutscene, like, before. That black fruit looks suspicious. Nah, no kidding. I spent, like, a fucking long-ass while. Oh, the fruit. Oh. I thought he was talking about the flowers. 
Otherwise, the flowers mean absolutely jack shit. Alright, so... These Heartless just keep uh, coming. So, yeah. Actually, hold on. Alright, I have a good amount of potions, so... Um... Yeah, these Heartless keep on coming unless you do something about that black fruit. Which is, like, right, right the fuck there. Fucking... there you go. So, yeah, I'm gonna do some grindage a bit. Um, I... You won't mind, right? Because I actually needed to do some grinding for a while. I'm at level 19. I think I'm at level 19. I forgot. Because, like, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done some recording. So, might as well catch up, right? Since last episode, um, I think I was just fighting, like, a normal group of Heartless and Donald and Goofy uh, were getting their asses kicked. So, yeah. We might want to do that since... Uh, it's been a while since I actually grinded. You know, try to keep ahead of the game. Oh, by the way, um, this episode goes out to uh, a good friend of mine. Her name's Jasmine, who is who basically has like this business that she's trying to get up and running. Uh, they they sell like a whole. She sells like a whole assortment of like different stuff, and she's working some things out with uh, some companies. Uh, her shop is on Amway. So, hey, future me recording. Um, I can't remember the exact URL right now. So, if you would, um, if you would, if you would put that on the screen, that'd be great. I also uh, should put that in this uh, description as well. So, um, yeah, isn't technology wonderful? Also, it's also kind of a bitch sometimes. Uh, I know all too well. I definitely know all too well. Not that I have like any problems with technology recently, but uh, yeah, I've had my share experiences of like technology like just going awry. Um, I'm trying to think of a good example actually. Uh, I mean, the one that I can think of at the top of my head is definitely uh, back in my back in my sophomore year, jeez, man, that was a long ass time ago. Oh shit, I almost went down that way. I remember I had a Windows Phone for a while, and yeah, don't ever get a Windows Phone, people. Because for one thing, the store sucks ass. Just letting you know right now. Um, if you want Instagram or Snapchat or any of the stuff that's like considered quote unquote essential. Yeah, don't get a Windows Phone for that, because, trust me, you'll have a hard time finding anything like that in the uh, Microsoft Store. By the way, um, the only plus that I could find with the Windows Phone is that it has Microsoft Word on it, so... But then again, there are a lot of features on Microsoft Word, from what I remember, on my phone. It's like... When, when, Alright, to be fair, relatively, when I got my Windows Phone, it was still relatively new. So, but but even then, um, hey Donald, good to see you. Uh, haven't changed one bit. Still dying, I see. But um, when I had my Windows Phone, you know, of course, like yeah, I told you before, it has Microsoft Word on, Word on it. But um, there's a plane going by actually. But uh, yeah, big difference between a phone and a computer screen. Because I remember when I was doing this essay for school, not only was I limited to like what tools I could work with because Windows uh, doesn't include like a whole lot on the phone version of Word, but even still, I could type out everything basically. You know, it was kind of it was kind of fun just for the novelty fact that I can uh, do some assignments on my phone for the most part, but. On the downside, I'm, I am working with uh, a phone here, so of course when I think I've typed out an entire page on my phone, it's only one paragraph on the computer screen. So when I had everything all set out the way that I wanted it, it was a lot shorter than what I needed it to be. Even with the double spacing and the increase in the font. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That just brought back a memory right there. Does anyone, uh, uh, 
Does anyone ever, like, do anything like that for their assignments? I'm pretty sure, right? Like, when you're assigned, like, a certain number of words on, like, an assignment. So, like, instead of doing all that work, you just basically double space everything and increase the font a bit. Yeah. I know all too well that feeling, trust me. Oh, man. I probably shouldn't even be recording right now. I mean, like I said before, I'm, like, falling a little bit behind on my daily schedule of, uh, you know, coming out with new episodes and stuff, because these past couple days have been eh, not, not entirely busy, but kind of. Uh, one day I had to go to my uncle's wedding reception, and then the other day I was spending some time with my mom, because, uh, oh, what's day? Today is Tuesday now, but, uh... It was Mother's Day, like, on Sunday. Um, also, at the time I'm, I'm recording this is technically Monday night. But guess what time it is? It's Monday night, but it's Tuesday in the morning. And it is currently... 6.19 in the morning. I've been up all night because, like... I have this, like, weird sleeping pattern in which everyone judges me on. So, yeah. Oh, shout out to Andre, uh, Andy, rather. His real name is Andres, but everyone calls him Andy. Um, he's a, he's another friend of mine, um, who I hang out with a lot. So, um, actually, I'm thinking of, like, getting him on the show, uh, for multiplayer stuff. Because I know, like, aside from Kim Hearts that I want to play, uh, there, like, there's, like, a couple of different things that I want to play on this channel. So, yeah. Andy, if you're uh, if you're out there and you want to be in any one of my episodes, uh, feel free to ask. I I don't know like what you want to play though, because I know like like to just go off on a tangent right here. Um, I remember uh, I was going over. Well, actually, shout out to hey, I leveled up. Shout out to me and Andy's uh, YouTube channel, by the way. It's called A and M Play. I don't know if you can look it up right now because I don't think it nearly has enough, like... Actually, I don't know, actually. It's been a while since I've checked up on that channel, but... Before uh, I created this channel, I also had... Yeah, that channel, but Andy mostly runs that one. But, um... There have been a couple times where we've played a couple games on there. Granted, like... All the games that we've played on a and Play have all been on the PS4. So... I remember I was over at Andy's house one day, and he said, "Oh, you want to live stream Pokemon ba uh, come on. Uh, Star Wars Battlefront?" Because I didn't have the game, and he did, and I haven't played it yet. So, yeah, I did a couple episodes with him playing Star Wars Battlefront. Um, just just to say, right now, I I'm not necessarily big on the new Battlefront. For me, like it feels totally incomplete compared to. Uh, the old games, which I, uh, uh, which leads up to my story. So after I played a couple of rounds of Battlefront with Andy on um, on our channel A and M Play, um, I invited Andy over to just play Star Wars Battlefront, and this is before, way before I was able to get my capture device working, way before um, I started this channel. I can tell you that much. So I introduced Andy to Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is the "Quote unquote better game," and trust me, it is better. So I introduced that to him, and um, I totally kicked his ass on it. Even though I taught him the rules, I mean, granted, I probably should have taught him better. I, pr I probably should have started him out with Star Wars Battlefront One because we played the uh, the space levels as well. So I probably should have done that. But, um, yeah, I totally kicked his ass on it, and, uh, he t absolutely hated it. He did not like it one bit, and... Although I could... Although I could play, you know, the the new Battlefront fine, it's just, like... I don't know if, like... Because I really want to play that game for a multiplayer episode. But, then again, I don't know if anyone wants to do that, so... I don't know, Andy. What do you think? Also, um, Steve, if you're also watching as well, uh, feel free to let me know uh, when we can 
do something together. Knowing Steve, he probably wants me to play like a sports game, you know, since he gave me the the WWE controller after all. Which I'm never going to freaking use properly because I don't have any wrestling games. So, yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I, I'm, I may act like a total nerd when it comes to games, but I can tell you this much. Um, I don't know, like, a whole lot of, like, game development stuff, so... Yeah. I mean, like, that's just, like... I'm just gonna use this as, like, kind of an alibi in case, like, I start rage quitting, because... I was, uh, going on Vine a bit earlier today. Um, earlier today, meaning, like, several hours ago. I was, like, looking up Kingdom Hearts, uh, stuff on Vine. And, um, yeah, the, uh, the Lord Moldybutt, uh, fight that you play later on in this game. Granted, it's totally optional, I just want to do it anyway. Um, from what I hear, it's all, uh, it's, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bad. And from what I hear, even on normal, you need to, you know, max everything out. And, so, uh, and Lord Mullybutt still kicks your ass. Oh man, I almost said his name there. So, um, I mean, that's not going to be for like a while now. We're still, we're still grinding, we're still doing some stuff in Deep Jungle over here, but... Oh man, like I said before, it just makes me worry about the days to come on this on this series of Let's Plays. I'm just, I'm just like running until, alright, that's goofy. Did Donald level up? I, I wasn't even paying attention. I know I did. Whatever, I'm, I'm gonna do some more grindage. I don't care. I mean, I can, pre I can pretty much like deal with an entire episode. Not and may maybe not entirely a new uh, entirely grinding, but you know what I mean. Just take some time away from you know progressing to the game. Just hang back a bit, you know. I mean, this is a lot better than just like me fiddling around with like the vines earlier. Um, part one of Deep Jungle. I'm talking to you. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was like looking back on like a couple of old episodes. Well, not really old, but like the past ones, because I've been editing, like I said. Man, I've proven myself wrong in so many different levels about this Let's Play so far. None more so than like, the fact that like, I thought you had to get to the vine- I thought you had to use the vines in order to get up to this area. You totally didn't. You could just like go across the Hippo Lagoon and just come here. Instead, I spent so much time filling around on vines. Oh, yeah. I also, um, speaking of vines, I also have a vine account. You know, if you want to add me on there, um, I'll, I'll just uh, also put that up there. Future me and editing, if that'd be great. Yeah. I'm giving myself so much more work here than what I really need to do. I love how I'm doing that just as I'm behind on, like, pulling out future episodes. This episode actually is supposed to go out today, believe it or not. So, yeah. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done some recording. Alright, let me just, yeah, get rid of that Heartless and then... Now I can just, like, fuck off, dude. Now I can just, like, focus on the fruit over here. Hey. And I absolutely did nothing at all with the flowers. I don't know why they're there. I don't know what they do. I don't know what their significance is, but they're just kind of there. Clean came to the tent, and that's the last thing I remember. Oh, no. He gave you a roofie. And he took advantage of you. And left you alone, unprotected. Clayton? Yeah, how dare Clayton. 
Gorillas trapped. Turk ran. We must help the gorillas. Yes, we must help the gorillas indeed. So I think at this point is where we're supposed to fight Clayton, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, that rhymes. <laughs> Alright. Where does that go? Alright, that goes here. Jump down here, do some more surfing. do do Jump over this log and jump and and jump and fucking shoot Clayton in the head with my fire. That was totally not part of the song. That whole song is instrumental. All right, don't even bother with these guys. All right, so I've taken some damage. Goofy's also taken some damage. Don't care. Absolutely, don't dumb dilly care. And of course, Goofy would use his MP right now. Hold on, let me. All right. No oh, shit, I'm in battle. All right, fine. I'll I'll deal with these heartless, and then I'll just use like a cottage or something on myself. Cause I I don't think I've used any of those yet. I think I I think I might have sold one or two. Whatever. Fuck it. Since I'm since I'm gonna use a cottage, might as well spit some hot fire real quick. I said I was gonna stop using that joke, but uh. Just had to at that one instance. Don't worry, Donald, I'll help you out. There you go. Oh, come on! Alright, yeah. Uh, the way I found out like th that these things can steal your money is if you trip over the banana peels that these things drop. No, don't walk on- there you go. Also, you might want to bash the fuck out of them before they run away because they will do that. Um, I found out the hard way because what I also found out is that those Heartless are pretty rare. Well, you know why? Because they drop a shitload of money. Look at that. Look how much money I got right there. That's from killing those things. Alright, um... Restores all HP and 3 MP. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm gonna save that, uh, the cottage for a later time. Hey! Alright, I think now we're supposed to fight Clayton. Right? I think that's what we're doing. And I better do it quickly because I have 11 minutes left. Oh, whatever. I, I think I can go over a bit. Oh no! Clayton, why? No! <laughs> Clayton's like, really? Don't stare at me like that, you fucking freak. Not Clayton. Not Clayton indeed. That man right there is no longer Clayton. He's more darkness now than man. Twisted and evil. Oh man, I am such a Star Wars nerd. Okay. This is the point where, um... Yeah, my audio went all... I shouldn't even say, like, where the audio went all bad. But, um... Yeah, I'm just doing, like, a post-Let's Play commentary right now, because... When I was editing, uh, my footage... And I was getting that intro ready, you know, the one that started at the end of the video where I... Plugged, uh, Jasmine Chavez. Um... I, uh... I actually saved that file over one of the uh, files that I used for the audio. But luckily, um, it was during the Clayton fight, and all I was doing was just basically commentating over uh, how weird the fight was, actually. Because uh, when I was playing, I didn't know that... Um, yeah, I, di I really didn't know that if you just focused on fighting Clayton alone, then that would win you the fight. 
Because for a while, I right here, I was focusing more on the chameleon. Also trying to stay the hell alive right here because I had no, absolutely no time to grind at all except for um, that little part with the black fruit. But yeah, I think at this part I was just basically commentating over the fight and like how I thought like you could just focus on the chameleon, but in actuality what you really need to do is just focus on Clayton because not only is he a pest but also you need to beat him. So don't so it's not even like really about you know fighting both of them it's just fighting him the chameleon is just kind of there which is kind of under which is kind of disappointing honestly look at him just fucking wailing his gun around like fuck this shit i don't fucking need this fucking bullet in the fucking gun i can just whack this shit around like a goddamn club so like one scene in Pirates of the Caribbean. Oi! We can still use them as clubs! He just cocks them over the head with the like, Ah! Sorry. Fuck did though. Oh, man. It's honestly kind of weird to be doing like a post-commentary over the Let's Play. Because usually how I do it is that I have the camera recording that myself, but I never use the face cam footage because face cam, in my opinion, is just kind of dumb. Because it kind of makes the audience like focus more on the face cam rather than the actual game at hand. I mean, while you can have two going on at once, and people can still find it entertaining, um, I don't know. I just follow the rules of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. And plus, like, yeah, see, there you go. Focus on Clayton, and that wins you the fight. Because <coughs> I feel like Excuse me. Because I feel like, you know, it's a bit too much. Like, take for example, like one time I was at, I was at this theater by me, it's called Hollywood Boulevard. It's basically like a dinner theater. And what they do on Saturday nights is that they recreate Rocky Horror Picture Show. But now, not only do they do that while the movie is actually playing, but they also have um, an obnoxious audience, which acts kind of like a riff track. Oh, and uh, here's where I learn. Do I not? Oh, yeah, there you go. Cure. I'm very thankful for that. It's a very, very good spell, and I'm glad I got. Because for the most part, I was just using potions the whole time. Like, you saw me struggle during that last fight. Uh, you, Yeah, you saw me struggle a little bit. Subcurrent check. Huh? What, what are you doing? Kushet, no! Uh. Oof. Whoa. Oh, how come you don't vote Tarzan, you fucker? And plus, this fucking sup's right there. How come you didn't let me just claw him? And how come you didn't throw Tarzan, especially? Oi. Hey. Hey, but the the view is nice though. Oh yeah, at this point I was um. Tarzan home. Oh, Tarzan home, huh? Well, Caesar is home. Yeah, it was at this point where I started uh, commentating over. Uh, it was at this point where I started talking about the Planet of the Apes movies. Um, at least in the original recording. Uh, what was I even saying about the Planet of the Apes movies? Oh, like, how, like, that was the only good reboot that Hollywood has ever done in recent years. If there was anything that needed a reboot, it was the Planet of the Apes series. Because, for the most part, like, the, the sequels after the first one, not very good. Not very good at all. I mean, like, those stories were, like, not only, like, really cheesy, but they also made no sense at all. And, like, how... The new reboot with Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes handle it is actually really, really more grounded, it seems. In some in some respects, like yeah, it takes it a bit too serious, it kinda of loses the campiness, but you know what, screw it, you get invested in the plot anyway. I mean, even if it takes itself too serious, at least it's created its own identity for itself. And I'll give it that much credit. 
Yeah, because like, uh, the rise of the rise of the Planet of the Apes and like, uh, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, they're sort of kind of semi retellings of um, how the uh, the sequels went. Because they introduced like this. Oh my god, I, I suck so much at platforming. But then again, platforming does suck in this game. But, uh, the one thing about the Planet of the Apes reboots is that, you know, they're basically retellings of, like, some of the sequels. Because in the sequels, they introduce this weird subplot where, well, they introduce, like, the idea that the, like, two apes from the original movie, they travel back in time, and that's how, you know, they were able to get an ape that was like uber smart and it's like the most ridiculous plot you could ever think of for a sequel to the planet of the apes for kind of fitting since we're in a world that's infested by apes not that any of these will go sentient this is your home but that means huh? what Oh, man. Sorry about that. I am, like, really, really tired. And also, like, a bit stuffy because of my allergies. I mean, what can you do? It's May. Pollen's out. Heart. Hurt. Man, uh... I realized, like, what I've been doing earlier with the post-commentary was that I was trying to recreate the commentary that I lost. At this point in time, I have no idea what I said anymore. Whatever. I'm just going to go with it. Sorry about what I said. Oh, yeah, I guess we're all, all buddies now. Which kind of doesn't really mesh together, seeing as though that we did play with Donald earlier. Oh, by the way, um, if those butterflies look kind of weird to you, um, that's because they were in the movie. Like, um, in the You'll Be In My Heart sequence, like, a butterfly comes on Tarzan's nose when he was a baby, and it had that same kind of design. <sighs> oh, man, sorry, I'm yawning a lot. Like, at the time of this, like, I've just begun editing, and, like, I still haven't gotten any sleep yet. I just finished recording, um, all the, um, episodes up until, uh, up until I was about to go into that war pole. I don't even know what episode it is. I'm too tired to function. Uh, how much more do I have to go, actually? Oh, okay, not that long. Good. Good, very good. What drew the heartless to that world? The hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. Wonder what the bait must taste like. <laughs> yeah, he got chopped instead. It wasn't really chopped. He just got like crushed by the body, really. Of the chameleon, heartless. But the boy is a problem. He found one of the keyholes. Huh, so that's what that was. Because I am I locked something like that back in Wonderland. By the way, that was totally that reaction right there, I was totally carried to the fact that like there are some people out there who have not, uh, who have not experienced Kingdom Hearts outside of this Let's Play yet. I'm talking to you, Andy. I probably already mentioned you earlier on, but shout out to you again. Shout out to Steve, by the way. I'm giving a lot of shout outs in this episode. Also, shout out to uh, Jasmine Chavez again. Go check out the shop. Buy her shit. Yeah, best we get, better get going. Oh yeah, this is when my timer went off. Where's your ship anyway? Uh, what was I even doing, man? 
Come on. Man, it's so hard <laughs> when, like, you don't know what was actually going on. Well, uh, not too far. Tor Tarzan. Friends. Obtain Jungle Key. That's actually a new Keyblade. Upgrade the Keyblade with the Keychains. Different Keychains will add different effects to the Keyblade. Access the Equip menu to use a Keychain. Am I going to go with the... Alright, oh, there we go. Alright. Oh, Lurton Red Trinity. Oh my god. Can you imagine if I had to do more of that kind of reading? Like, I was reading, like, the, um... The captions? Oh, I had... The gummy block that came out of that glowing hole. It's not like the others. I wonder what it's used for. I don't know. Maybe Leon will know. Hmm. He might. Back to Traverse Town then? I want to be Pilot. Hey, stop it. Oh, come on. I'm the Keyblade Master. I don't care who you are. No. Here we go again. We, cr we crash land in a deep jungle again. Okay, this episode is going to end off right here. Man, that was weird to read the captions there. So, I guess I'll be seeing you all next time with some working audio. Thankfully. So, um, yeah. Peace.